Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters when Joe Biden he went to Israel what Israeli the Yahudi IDF Israeli Defense Force what did they say to Joe Biden the moment he came to Israel what was that important conversation because we do not know this video I will find out what was the conversation was about the moment Joe Biden arrived in Israel this is what happened as you can see on the picture here he actually met with all the military officials okay military officials these are not only just the, from the government as you can see on the picture but all of the military officials they were there this is the I believe the Prime Minister this is the president and these are all military military stuff okay and even you can see all of them at the back of the uh, picture and even here military 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 all of the time when he was there it was all about military military parade military guard military uh, conversation about military need what they need to defend their country even this lady as you can see she is also from the military only few of them came from the government level but it is all about military and most of the people are from the military let's take a look at the next picture here uh, this is when he arrived in uh, Israel as you can see his uh, full fledged of allegiance to the country uh, it is quite obvious that his uh, allegiance okay his friendship with Israel is unshakable and this is Anthony Blinken and they are showing respect to the state of Israel by putting their hand uh, on their chest complete loyalty to the state of Israel both by Joe Biden and Anthony Blinken and as you can notice these Israel officials they are actually doing nothing and only this military personnel was there but Israeli forces Israeli government I should say they did not show anything uh, any loyalty to anybody next uh, let's uh, take a look at the next uh, photo uh, you will get more idea so this is the next one this is when they met now in this meeting uh, even though uh, we see that Israeli foreign minister, uh, Israeli uh, prime minister and the president and everybody was there. I don't see the president Naftali Bennett but again military. These are all military personnel. They mean business in other words. They do not want to waste uh, Joe Biden's time. It is time to get to business. Now let me show you uh, this is the last picture again as you can see he's surrounded by all this military and so i'm going to be mentioning you the actual conversation what really happened so president biden when he met the uh, israeli officials he also first met idf's re representative the people from idf israeli military force and they described or they explained to uh, joe biden idf's aerial defense system including the iron dome aerial defense system the aero defense system the david sling system and the new iron beam laser air defense system the moment joe biden came to israel it is all about their military equipments military uh, weapons now normally you do not actually show a, a, a president to show to a president from a different country your secret weapons normally you do not do that the reason israel did this is because they believe in joe biden they believe in america that america and israel really they have no difference israel had no problem showing or unveiling or exposing their entire defense system to a foreign president why again it is because america's loyalty to the state of israel this was the conversation that took place between joe biden and the yahudi uh, israel the state of israel it was all about military how can we improve how can we defend ourselves now i want to play another video which is very very interesting in this video as you can see this is president biden he arrives in israel okay let's take a look at this uh, arrival how he, how he was greeted and what happened i want to pinpoint two important thing here very very interesting as you can see he is here in israel very happy he even paused a little bit when he was walking down from the plane look at his body language very relaxed very happy obviously you will be happy when you go and meet a uh, you know representative from a different country but his body language was very very relaxed a calm very very friendly as you can see he is shaking hands like you know with a fist bump and he's con conversing with these people sometimes touching them and they're touching him back to, you know putting his hand uh, on their shoulder very friendly right this is Naftali Bennett look look Naftali Bennett felt so comfortable with him he was patting him on his uh, on his hand and and now Joe Biden look 
he put his hand on his shoulder for how long the entire conversation well I mean this is insane this is the level of comfort he feels with Naftali Bennett right why because they are buddy buddies they're their be best friend now I will be sharing or uh, actually sh uh, comparing this uh, video with the um, so the uh, uh, Joe Biden arrival okay let me show that video too but let me play the first with Israel now another thing that you will notice is this lady okay this lady I was uh, shocked <laughs> because this lady did not shake hand uh, with Joe Biden at all she was not showing any inclination of sh shaking hands with Joe Biden she just kept quiet I uh, didn't do much and she was just smiling why I'm doing this I'll show you in a second why uh, I'm uh, uh, pointing out this lady and her conversation look he is talking to them and he's very friendly look we're again touching right it's, it's, a, it's a great way to tell how friendly they are uh, they most likely talk on the phone on a regular basis so they know each other for a long time and now that Joe Biden is there he's finally seeing those faces with whom he spoke for so many times right this is what happened now this is the video where Joe Biden is actually uh, arriving in Saudi Arabia let's take a look this is completely different yeah his body language obviously um, he is coming from Israel he is already traveling but the body language shows that he is uh, a little bit tense not sure what to expect and he's looking around he's waving his hand um, he's not focused on the people who will receive him rather he was focused on the uh, on the uh, you know uh, the surrounding area and he was just looking here and there not very focused not very keen now this lady okay this is a Muslim lady and you would expect her not to shake hands but this is exactly what she did okay what wait, wait wait for a second wait for a second you will see her how friendly she was no problem shaking hands no problem I mean she she could have even taken a kiss from Joe Biden <laughs> if Joe Biden wanted he could have kissed her all right this is see look look this is the lady uh, and you expect uh, that as a Muslim you know uh, individual as a Muslim uh, woman you are not supposed to be shaking hands I'm, I'm not sure uh, who she is exactly maybe a wife or maybe an interpreter I do not know but uh, she was shaking hands without any problem uh, with Joe Biden where we have seen the Israeli the Yahudi uh, lady did not shake her hand with Joe Biden let's uh, see how Joe Biden will uh, react after he met uh, with this uh, Saudi Arabia officials look he is actually not bothered about anybody else now another thing that you'll notice is that this is very very interesting the Saudi Arabian uh, government they did not bring any military with them only a few guard here and there but largely it was empty and it was occupied by some journalists maybe some uh, so the officials but uh, most part uh, it was empty and no military Israeli they received him with a lot of uh, military personnel okay uh, when he came to Israel whereas uh, Saudi Arabia nothing nothing there at all so again this is Saudi Arabia and this is Israel now why I'm saying there's so many people uh, so many uh, military personnel from Israel is because uh, as you can see here on this on this one right he was actually given a guard of honor the moment he arrived in Israel right guard of honor these are all military from Israel whereas you have uh, Saudi Arabia uh, no military no even not a lot of government officials obviously you can argue and say that brother he doesn't have a good relationship with MBS maybe that's why but the reality of it is that Saudi Arabia uh, is not as close or I should say US is not as close to Saudi Arabia as they are to Israel now Joe Biden he is leaving okay let's take a look he's leaving and he didn't really meet a lot of people uh, Anthony Blinken the foreign secretary he was there but nothing much happening no facial expression no I mean he was actually very tight he was holding his hand tight as you can see on the picture uh, means he was not really open uh, with the Saudi officials look look see this is this is what I'm talking about uh, his hand was tied and he was not moving his hand just look this is a p posture when somebody is not willing to open too much okay and Anthony, Anthony Blinken he knows I cannot be too buddy buddy because Saudi Arabia is really not as close to me as the uh, Yahoo the Israeli uh, they are let's take a look at uh, the remaining video and now as you can see Joe Biden he is leaving he is gone okay he's in the car his uh, presidential car and then he's gone 
okay this is uh, the end of Joe Biden coming to Saudi Arabia so dear sisters, the main point of this is that you have to understand that the Yahudi they will do whatever it takes to make sure the US president whenever they come to their country they follow them they respect their country they understand where he is coming they understand their need they get to business right away not hugging t uh, you know kissing too much but uh, let's talk about IDF weapon system you know David sling air defense system let's talk about the Iron Dome instead of wasting our time let's focus on the main topic at the same time we have seen how close they are with their body language they're open to each other thank you guys for tuning in for joining in i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful rest of the day take care